So today, Rabbi, no. Six dogs. Six dogs, yeah. Today we're working on sleep training for Zachary. He has six dogs. I think that was a success. Because he did it without his bottle. His name is Gizmo. And Yoshi. Yeah, so we have a bunch of little dogs with us. Of course, Shauna Kelly Rabbi. And then, hey, Rabbi, no. And then we have Gizmo and Yoshi, which are two Shih Tzus. So today is about dog sitting. We have six dogs total. So it's kind of a high capacity day for us. And then we have this one who is sleep training, which started last night. Rough night, Bim? Yes. Rough night. But he is gonna be one soon. And we're just like, we're just trying to get on it a little bit more because he's a little behind. Connor was sleeping through the night by the time he was like six or seven months. And he was definitely off the bottle when he was one, off the pacifier by 13 months maybe. So, you go get it baby. You go get it right there. Now we're gonna have some lunch and pretty much probably just chill today. We don't really have anywhere to go unless we decide to go grocery shopping. Um, but yeah, high capacity day with the dogs. And then this guy, yeah. We're not completely going cold turkey. He's allowed to have one bottle to help him go to bed. But if he doesn't go to bed, then he has to cry it out, which is what happened this time. He drank all his bottle. He didn't go to bed, so he had to cry it out. He's allowed pacifiers for now, and then we'll take those away later. But you did it. You did it. And he, they always wake up more well-rested, huh, Ben? Like yeah. when they cry it out. Huh. Yeah, Where are you going? Say hours of crying. It was not, babe. <laughs> it was like literally five minutes. I was. It gives me anxiety when the kids cry, so I have to tell Michael like set a timer for five minutes, and then I just went to go use the restroom and play on my phone for five minutes, and then when I came out of the restroom, he was done. He was already good to go. So if you just tell yourself, give it five minutes, and then usually, usually everything's okay. Yeah. 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 So, well, that was rude. I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> Say, we're hangry. We're hungry. It's like, it's 620 and you still haven't eaten. He normally eats at 5, 530, and if he hasn't eaten by then, he is hungry. And I totally messed up. I know, it's mommy's fault. I didn't take a, or I, I took something out for dinner, but I took a nap for about an hour, which was heavenly after last night. But I woke up and it was like 5.30 and can't make enchiladas in 30 minutes. So we just sent Michael to go get a pizza really quick, which is horrible, but we're trying. We're trying to get our lives together little by little. And doing sleep training is just a big, big step, and it kind of takes a lot out of us sometimes. Do you hear Rex? He's horrible. He's the worst. He barks so much. He humps everything. He tries to dominate all the dogs. He's freaking out the chihuahuas and terrorizing the shih tzus. And so I'm trying to keep him separated, but all he does is bark. And, like... I know you want to go back. Okay. okay, okay, I'll put you back. And so, like, pretty soon here, I'm gonna have to bring him in because the neighbors are gonna be like, "The heck, man, what's going on?" I used to like kind of low key be against like neutering and fixing and stuff. I didn't see like why you had to do that because I never wanted to neuter my dogs, and I always felt super forced. But this dog, this dog needs to be neutered. Maybe not all dogs, this freaking dog needs to be neutered. And that Shih Tzu over there isn't neutered either and he's kind of being like, not a, as, not a complete terror, but he's got his issues. I'm trying to give Rex some time outside of the kennel because I keep having to put him in the kennel because I can't leave him out in the open with the other dogs. 
So he's out there howling. I'm gonna have to go put him in the kennel. Tried putting him in the garage with like a baby gate in front and he's like scratching at the baby gate, breaking it. So it's like, you're leaving me no choice, man. You're leaving me no choice. He doesn't calm down. I'm used to rambunctious dogs, but then they like play, get all their energy out. They come inside and they're like, cool. Is it nap time? Because I'm down for nap time. This one, hours. And we tested it, we tested it. He doesn't stop. He doesn't stop. And like when Daisy was here, he would at least burn out his energy. So when I put him in the crate, he'd be like, okay, now I guess I'll take a nap. But these little dogs aren't doing it for him. They're not really burning out his energy. And I've tried throwing the ball, taking him for a walk. It just doesn't, it's not working. It's not enough. And so he like goes in his crate and he's like still upset. So I gotta go put him in this crate. Taking the kiddos a bath. And Michael is outside trying to wear out Rex a little bit um, because we'll just kennel him for the rest of the night probably. It's already like 9-ish or something like that. But anywho, um, I've been watching Christina's vlogs. If you don't know who Christina is, she's my best friend. We started YouTube together, oh my gosh, like if, two, three years ago? Three years ago, I'd say. We started YouTube together and... <clears throat> We have since recently, uh, we do it separately now, and so she has her own vlog channel and her own channel, I'll link them down below, but I've been watching her vlog channel that she just made, and she started off saying she's going to do daily-ish vlogs, but so far it's been daily, and I was asking her when she came over to do the pumpkin patch with the boys, I was like, hey, so like, how do you like it, and she's like, Dude, it's actually kind of almost easy because you're not, you don't have like all these cuts and stuff like that. And she just kind of explained it in a way where I was like, oh my gosh, it makes sense. So I know I said that I've tried to do this more often in the past, um, but I feel really encouraged, like getting some advice from her. So hopefully I can successfully start putting this out more often. And um, Michael actually wants to help out and do some editing. So I think that would be a good way for him to be introduced into editing because that's pretty easy like to edit vlogs. And so I think that's a good little introduction for him. And then as he gets more skill, he can move on to editing other things, which would be great. I told him you're gonna start editing the vlogs. So if it comes out bad, <sighs> you know who to play. I'm just kidding.